Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of March love reading. This is for the last week of March, first couple days of April, whatever. This could have already happened, you never know. Anyway, this is for the sign of Sagittarius. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we're going to break into that tarot deck. Sagittarius is one of my favorite signs. Just thought I'd let you know. Probably guys already figured that out, but we will reveal this at the end. My cat seems to cry for you. I don't know why. She just started. She hasn't at all yet today. Bella. What do we have for Sagittarius this week? This last week of March. <laughs> oh. This is, you know, this is a new beginning, okay? This is a new partnership, or this is a, a new path opening up in front of you, okay? I'm just going to lay out these cards real quick, and then I will let my cat out because she's going to start howling. Um, it's like there's a feeling of becoming alive again. All right, there's a new there's a new energy here, a new path unfolding in front of you after a period of stagnation, okay? I feel like things have been stalled, you know, they had been, but I think that you guys are starting to come out of a period of recuperation and rest. It's like I think that there's there's a lot of excitement here for you guys. You know, it's like, yes, the decision has been made. Changes are happening. It's like, I'm not going to procrastinate any longer. You know, and I think that the time of procrastinating is over. It's like, things have been stalled for way too long. And, you know, this lack of any forward movement isn't serving me anymore. So I'm making the decision to go down the new path. Yeah, it's like, there's a time, there's this transformation. There's a transformation here. Congratulations. I mean, there is a new beginning here. One phase is over. It's like there's a huge release. I mean, there's an ending. There's an ending here that was very much needed. And I think that, like I said, you're becoming, starting to feel alive again. I feel like you must be vibrating at a very high level or something like that. Um, because wherever you were at, there was no forward movement. There wasn't. You were in a spot where... There was no growth, there was no communication, there was no uh, forward movement, okay? There was no victory there, there was no success. It was like, I didn't even want to be there anyway. And it feels like you guys, wherever this was, where you didn't want to be, you guys are moving away from it. It's like, it's over, uh, it's over. I'm not gonna stay there anymore. You know, it's like, you, and the vibration has been, your vi like I said earlier, your vibration has been um, lifted, okay? You guys are working at a high vibration right now. You're probably looking very attractive. You're probably feeling very attractive. I have to let the cat out. I apologize. It's a beautiful sunny day. You know what she wants? She wants to go out. And that's, that's a message for you guys. Every single thing that happens during a reading is a message. She wants to be out. She wants to be out in the sun. She wants to get out there. And that's it. Okay? This right here is you. Okay? This is you vibrating at a high level, looking very good, wanting to be out there, wanting to be in the sun, wanting to show yourself high confidence, high courage, you know, just 
on top of your game this week, okay? Vibrating very highly, um, very, very attractive. I know I probably already said that, but I feel like you guys are probably, you know, very vibrant, put it that way. And it, it shows. And I think what's happened here is you have come to this conclusion that there was no forward movement in one direction. So you're letting it go and you're starting a new journey. I feel like you guys have went through some sort of transformation or you're going through a transformation right now. And you're no longer going to let your life be in someone else's hands. Okay? It's like, I'm in control, not you. Okay, and it feels like you guys have made a firm decision to go down a new road. And because you're making that decision, you're manifesting it. Okay, you guys have, have really done a huge amount of healing, okay, inner work, uh, rediscovery. You know, I just, it looks really, really good. There's, there's new opportunities here because you guys are focusing on the future. You're not going to let whatever hold you back keep you there. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to stay stuck here anymore. No, nope. I think you guys are feeling very, very, very alive. Okay. Wherever you were at, there was no progress, right? It wasn't working out. So why, why stay there? There was a lack of self-respect and a lack of self-worth. And I feel like maybe somebody didn't respect you. And that's why you're you're not, you're not going to do that anymore. No, 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 no. My life isn't in your hands. My life is in mine. I think you guys are taking the lead. There's a lot of self-love here. There's a lot of self-love. You're giving up on somebody that didn't deserve you, that didn't see your worth. There's no doubt about it. You're giving up on a somebody or a situation that didn't work for you. It was holding you back. This, Whoever this was, they weren't fulfilling your wishes. They weren't bringing you happiness. It wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. They weren't giving to the relationship. And I think that whoever this is or whatever this is, you're rejecting them and saying no more. No more. That's what I see. It's like there's a lot of self-love here. And you guys have got it. And because you've got it, you're manifesting things. Okay? You're manifesting newness. Whereas where you were at before, which was keeping you feeling alone and maybe even sick, maybe even ill. It's like, no. No, I'm not going to stay in that insecure situation anymore. It's time for my transformation. It's time for my change. It's time for me to step out of this trap because I love myself enough to do so so I am giving up on this situation where you didn't see my worth and if you can't give to me what I give to you then I'm not interested okay so I feel like there was no growth in one particular arena once again there's no growth and I feel like you were being overwhelmed you were being overwhelmed by a situation that you were trapped in but I think that this week you are coming to the grips that you have to take action that you are the leader this is the outcome okay this is the outcome the outcome is where you take the lead you get your fire back you relight your fire you take action with confidence and courage. You've used your strength. You're determined to go down this new path. You're determined to start again. You're determined to take the lead and not let somebody or something hold you back. Your determination is paying off. And your determination is also showing, by the way. Everybody can see it. Yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're fighting for yourself. You're fighting for what you believe in. So, you know, you if you are single, you could meet somebody 
at some sort of event. And it could lead to a commitment. Either way, I see that you guys are standing up for yourself. You're standing your ground. You're not going to let somebody smother you. You're not going to let somebody steal your joy, steal your happiness, and take advantage of you. Because you see that there is a new door opening for you. There's another path that you want to take. And you're ready for your transformation. There's been a lack of strength. There has been. And that's what's held you back. But I think you've got it back now. Past is over on this side, typically for me. But I go with what I see. And this is like a freestyle reading, and I do it my way, and it works out perfectly. Anyway, my messages come from above. I use the cards. It is what it is. This right here, there's a new opportunity for love. Whether this is a reconciliation with someone you know, or this is brand new. I tend to think this is brand new. I think this is a new beginning, okay? Because I consider this a new partnership. This is a partnership and this is a new beginning. So you could have an opportunity for a new partnership. Could be in love, could be at work, whatever, however it resonates with you. After a period of lack of confidence, lack of worth, lack of strength, lack of determination, I think that's over. I feel like there was no growth in one arena. You're taking action. And because you're taking action and you're vibrating so highly, people are probably very attracted to you. When you take action and you think positive, which I think you are, I think that you know your attraction, your level of attraction steps it up a notch. So you are probably fe be feeling and being perceived as very attractive at this time. And you could be calling in a new partner. Okay? And anyway, just saying... Because you've left behind this situation that wasn't peaceful, didn't bring you happiness, didn't bring you harmony, it wasn't serving you, and you've let it go. It's like, no, I'm done. I've let that go. I'm not going to hold on to that anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm starting over on my own. I'm pretty happy about it, too. I feel like you guys are pretty proud of your accomplishments as well. And, you know, it's that's a very good thing to be proud of what, what you've obtained and what you've done. Because, like, I, again, when you are proud, as long as you don't be over proud, you know, that ego thing. But I don't think you guys are. I feel like you guys are very proud of your accomplishments and that others can see it. And when they can see it, that's when you attract. You're very attractive this week, put it that way. And I think that you could be calling in a new partner because of your attractiveness. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are calling in somebody, okay? And, you know, this is a new offer of love. It's a new beginning, all right? This is a new beginning. And But the thing is, is that you need to remember who you are. Don't let yourself get lost in the past, okay? Because here, this is, this is a loss of self. Not listening to your intuition as well. Remember to listen to your intuition. Do not lose yourself. Again, this could speak to ego as well. Don't let your ego get too big because of your pride, because of your beauty, you know, because of that. Just remember that, okay? I feel like you have an opportunity for new love because of your vibration. You're vibrating on a high level. You're making the right steps, to, and you're, there's a lot of self-love here. And it's attracting somebody to your life or a situation. You are attracting something very positive to your life that you are going to love and that's what I see so this could be a week that you receive some new beginning that you love whether it's in work or with a partner whatever there's I think there's a new beginning that you are going to love and it's going to come in very 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 soon for you you're going through some sort of transformation as you are releasing something that did not make you happy Feeling alive again is a big deal. But anyway, we're going to read this card. Ooh, have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. I'm telling you what, like there's a gathering. Remember I said earlier there's some kind of gathering that you might meet somebody at? Go have some fun. Put yourself out there. And I tell you what, you will be looking on top of your game. 
and this new person could come right into your life because you are just like a magnet. But you got to get out there and have fun. Talk to you later.